Hi everyone! You're on the floor with Liliosaurus, but today we're not on the floor. Quite frankly, I'm so tired of being on the floor. What is going What is going on with my voice? As I was saying, I think that sometimes you have to like start over to literally like just start over. And I didn't really understand it at first. So a good example of this for me is I'm living somewhere again that I genuinely had no intentions of like coming back to I didn't really think about moving back here right so that's why I say that now sometimes you have to start over just to start over because it's like when I first lived here I moved here and I felt like fulfilled enough with everything that I did the first time around being here you know what I'm saying I was like oh okay that was a nice little town to live in it was fine. It was great. Um, I could see myself moving somewhere else, right? That's what I thought was going to happen, but it did not happen that way. And, you know, it's fine. That's just how life is sometimes. But what I'm trying to say is that now it can be kind of fun. So if you're in a situation like this where, say, you have to, like, move back to your parents' house or something after thinking that you were going to move out there or move away from there for such a long time, but things happen and like, you have no other choice, right? Instead of thinking like that you're just going backward, you're actually getting a brand new start to something you've already done. So for me, in this situation right now, I've lived in this city before, I had a well-paying job, I had like friends, I made a family, I like, I did all that stuff, right? And now, like, the circumstances are so different. Like, my family dynamic has changed. The amount of friends here I have actually has, like, dwindled down to practically barely zero. But it's not a big deal. Like, I am grateful for it. Because the friends that... This is just... It's all just temporary. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to live in this city for my whole entire life. Like... It sucks and it's pretty lonely right now. Yes, I would admit that, but like that doesn't mean that the friends that I still have back home or in other places that I talk with all the time, that doesn't mean that they suddenly stop existing. Like I still have those friends that I talk to you all the time and I have other friends that like I can FaceTime here and there, like we like voice note and stuff. Like I am definitely grateful for friendships like that. It's just like the actual act of it all makes it very lonely. And I don't really think I can give you solid advice on how to deal with being lonely because if I'm being very honest, I do have BPD and I, I went, <laughs> you know where I'm trying to go with this. I used to not. I think now I'm on a journey more towards understanding and learning how to process things. I could also make a whole entire topic about that, about like my BPD mental health and like being in the hospital, like three times now that sounds so funny but it, like it's fine i feel like it's just like the societal way of everybody's depictions of it like everybody thinks that there's like some crazy thing and that you're so crazy if you're in it but it's like genuinely sometimes as people we just we don't know how to process these things by ourselves like we need to go to somebody to in order to uh, yeah just process big life changes half the time yes you could be like anxious depressed like suicidal like schizophrenic and all this other stuff but i feel like a lot of us at a, our core are kind of also experiencing big dramatic life changes that we just never really understood how to deal with I guess I don't know but that's not really the point I'm trying to make here what I'm trying to make here is that starting over can be seen as a good thing because like I was saying I lived here before I did I've done so many things did I ever expect to be like living here and I'm like a single mom it's fine but did I expect any of the ways that like life came at me to happen no I didn't but quite frankly as well I've never actually thought of life, you know? Like, I I don't know. I just, I never understood how to get there and do it. But now, 
I do. And I think maybe I could put this into like a different topic someday as well. But for a long time, I was so afraid of life as well. Like I was just so scared of doing anything. Like I would go out of town and it's mostly after I had my son. I think I will. I think I'll, I do plan on making an episode all about motherhood in the future and like my take on motherhood. I don't know, why am I saying it like that? I don't know if I should make the motherhood one or womanhood one first. But I guess overall what I am trying to say is that, you know, you can try to just make it as fun as possible, you know? Like you've already done, I don't wanna say all the hard things, but now, I guess what I'm trying to say is that like now I think it's time for me to just like focus on myself and like focus on how to make the city work for me, maybe. Is that making sense to anybody? Because I feel like it's not fully to me. Like honestly, for instance, one song that has been on repeat for me for so long now is drake's oh over by drake because quite literally like i know way too many people here right now that i didn't know last year who the fuck are y'all am i allowed to say that i don't want drake to come for me too i do know exactly what i've been trying to say i think that i was using this analogy with somebody else i was talking to once but i was saying how living here now um again like a few years later is almost like if you've ever played kingdom hearts as a kid and then you, or I mean, still even now, but either which way, if you've ever played the game, you know how you get certain power-ups and like abilities and stuff to be able to go collect like all the treasure chests because they're all located at different places like around the world and stuff like that. Now that is what being here feels like to me. Like I feel like it feels like I can just kind of do anything like, I can pick something and I can just do it. I don't want to say that it doesn't feel real, but it just feels more so that like, if I wanted to go open a restaurant downtown, like I could, if I wanted to just continue working, I would, if I wanted to, I mean, I'm doing this, like, you know what I'm saying? Like I do have some art like still up around here. Yeah, I mean, everything that I've always ever wanted to do, I think I'm getting the chance to again. I think it's kind of too, like a settled in fact because I like resigned the lease on my apartment so now I'm like okay I think instead of viewing it as like a very um short term thing um sometimes I've I'm starting to learn to grow into like patience and stuff and understanding and because I've always been so anxious about the future right absolutely anxious about everything because if you think about it from now until May end of April really is such a long time away like we still gotta get through winter first we gotta get through fall first like you know that's a good few seasons so yeah i was just thinking about it and, like i could decorate my apartment for like fall and halloween and christmas and like maybe get like a little tree i think that this time around this is just like a very pivotal moment for me that i will look back on and I think that's why I wanted to kind of start my podcast now as opposed to before because now I think I'm actually on the sense of my healing journey. I, I think I'm going to put that into like my mental health topic but I came to an understanding that there's two different, at least for me, there's been two different distinct changes in my mental health once I first learned about like my possible mental health disorder and like my diagnosis and stuff and then now there's been a shift from like, okay, so what do we do? But I think maybe we just all need to stop being so afraid of life. I need to stop being so afraid of life as well too. Like, I think it's because a lot of us want to do these things, but we all struggle with that fear of being seen, you know? Like, that is something that I've been seeing a lot recently. It's just like the fear of being seen. So personally, what I've been doing is when I go outside, one, I mean, who, who else wouldn't look at the girl talking to herself on the side of the street? But I will, like, talk to myself out loud, and I'll be like, okay, like, 
I'm ready to be seen. Sometimes I say God, sometimes I say universe. You can obviously say whatever it is that you believe in. I, you know, we all have our things here. But I'm, I'm like, okay, like I'm ready to be seen. Like, show me how good it gets. I really like saying, show me how good it gets. That one is pretty fun as well. What's funny is that I'm actually a whole new person from being here the first time that I've lived here. So that's why I'm saying it's a perfect opportunity to completely reinvent myself yet again. And to now invent myself into the person that I truly actually want to be. But I just think that it's like such a beautiful thing, you know? So if you're somebody that's like in the same boat right now, I don't know, I guess we can just get like, go at it together. But I think from the beginning, it's been a lot better. A lot of things have changed for the better and I'm very excited about it. And I really think that this opportunity means well. You know, I think instead of viewing it as a negative thing, which I have for such a long time, I think instead I need to view it as a positive thing. And at the core, it did have a positive intention. The reasoning behind why I moved back here and stuff, you know? But now it's just all for fun and games. Like, let's just rally it up. Let's just see what we can get into, okay? Like I said, I'm gonna start my own restaurant downtown. I'm going to start a business. Maybe I'll start my clothing company here as well. Maybe I'll, I'll probably write some hit songs while I'm here as well. I mean, of course I would. Like, I have some from last time in the vault too. So, yeah. I mean, I've always been like in a very creative aspect while living here. Like, I do get a lot of ideas and things of the sort. Yeah, really, I think that's it for today. Thank you so much for listening to me. Thanks so much for hanging around. I really appreciate it. <laughs> Love you all so much. No, for real though, like if you're on this kind of same stage in life, then just know that we're gonna get through it together and everything's gonna be okay. And maybe we didn't expect to be, you know, I'm 25, so whatever age that you are right now, maybe you didn't expect that this was the life that you were going to have at the age that you are, but it's a lot better than anything else, I would say. It's, it's a lot better than anything else, you know? I definitely do have so much to be grateful for, even just being here. You just gotta think of it as a blessing. And I know that's such, yeah, yeah, whatever you say, kind of ideas, but the more that you, like, just start thinking positively, like, I swear, even sometimes I speak positive affirmations, I swear the sun gets brighter. I don't know. It's just, I just, I'm that girl like that. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. I love you all so much. I will see you in my next video, podcast, whatever um, way that, I mean, this isn't on Spotify or anything yet. So, like, it has to be a YouTube video. But if you're just, like, putting it off to the side, you're not really listening to me, then, or not listening to me, but, like, you're not really looking at me, then that's okay. Alright, thanks so much for watching. Bye!